When it comes to Dragon Ball Super, we have a lot of interesting characters in the series, most notably Goku, obviously, because Goku is the main character of Dragon Ball in its entirety. Now, I want to talk about Goku specifically because in Dragon Ball Super, it seems like there are probably a few too many moments in Dragon Ball Super where it seems like Goku is just stupid or idiotic or things like that. Now, I don't have at this point any factual information explaining how smart Goku is simply because you can't really do that. It's not like you're power scaling or anything like that. But I wanted to kind of make this video an interactive video for you guys where you kind of join the conversation with me as well. So let's talk about it here today. So. In Dragon Ball Super, once again, there are a lot of little quirky moments with Goku's character where you say, okay, he's stupid. Like, for example, in the latest couple episodes, I mean, he went to the bathroom, forgot the Senzu beans. While that was a plot contrivance to make it to where, obviously, he went to get Senzu beans, but he forgot them, so that means that in turn, their endeavors in the future basically were really dire, whereas they would have had Senzu beans otherwise. It was a plot contrivance, that's what it was there for. It didn't make sense for him to go in the first place if he was just going to leave them. It basically wound up being for comedic relief, but it was to make sure that they had tension in that portion of the arc where they were fighting Black and Zamasu before they escaped back to the past. So that's a stupid thing that Goku did. You know, he came back, he's like, oh, wadi wadi, you know, sorry, sorry. So things like that, you know, and it kind of dates back to the beginning portion of this show, even back in the reenactment arcs of Battle of Gods and Resurrection F and kind of the filler in between. There are moments where Goku just is like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like the moments where Goku just he he was waiting for in Battle of Gods. They were waiting for Goku to but Goku's basically watching. He was standing up there waiting for a way to figure out how to be Beerus. While that wasn't him being stupid, per se, that was poor judgment. You move on to the filler with Resurrection F, you see him find out that basically Vegeta's training and he bursts through the doors and the freaking everything with, uh, he hears that Bulma is, says that Vegeta's training and he's like, what? And he just bursts through and things like that, you know? Little stupid comedic relief moments with Goku that you would not get and were not very prevalent in Dragon Ball Z. Now, I will say a couple of things about Goku specifically. Dragon Ball Z, and, and, and a lot of this comes down to just the way that the show was handled in its entirety, and some of it comes down to the original dub as well. Dragon Ball Z's original dub obviously tried to portray Goku as a little bit more of a, uh, a heroic character than he truly is, but I will say that, you know, he does have some heroic quality, so that's not really up for debate here, but I will say as well that in Dragon Ball Z in its entirety, there were not as many moments that Goku had opportunities to really display this type of behavior. And whereas in Dragon Ball Super, they're clearly targeting this show at a younger audience. So they're purposely putting not just Goku, but every character in moments where, in situations where they're going to have these funny little weird moments and it happens to everybody. I mean, you have Vegeta as well. I mean, I like what they've done with, Vegeta, with Vegeta's character. It's not all about him being a badass and being cold hearted. It's called character development, get over it. But what they've done with the character is they had that situation where he was cracking the eggs and he couldn't do it. You know, all the dancing that was in the movie. I don't think they did that in the series, Battle of Gods. You know, a lot of little things like that. They purposely go out of their way to try to play on the more of the lighthearted side. And some of that comes down to the fact that that's Toriyama's preferred way to handle things. He's more of a comedic guy. But Dragon Ball Z, which is what people will compare Super to, did not have as many moments like that because the tension was kind of just ongoing. Even though you have things like Senzu and Dragon Balls and basically makes tension irrelevant for most part, but this it was like a basically a non-stop threat whereas in Dragon Ball Super you don't even have that you even have moments in the middle of the threat where they're kind of like oh yeah whatever they're kind of just downplaying it like for example when Frieza came uh, you know, he gets healed, Goku gets healed with the Senzu Bean after the shot with Sorbet, and he's like, oh, Vegeta, you can take it now. And he's like, oh, yeah, whatever, it's just, whatever, it is what it is. You know, things like that. They don't, they didn't even care about Frieza. They knew they could beat him, they didn't care at that point. Um, so obviously, they give you a little comedic moment, and they even do the little, oh, Mr. Whis, you stepped in poo, and all these little different little quirky things. So, to kind of wrap the video back around, Goku in his entirety of the character of the Goku, he is a country bumpkin. He is not a guy that is book smart. He's not very literate. All Goku cares about is eating and food and his friends and family. That's all he cares about. And you can, you, however you, you, you think he prioritizes things is up to you. I will say fighting and eating are up there, of course, and friends and family are probably second to those two things, but it is up to you, of course. He's a character that 
isn't very smart. Simply, he's just not very smart. He he knows things that revolve around what he is interested in. He knows about fighting, of course. He's a fighting genius, a combat genius. That's what he is. He's a prodigy. Goku is that. He is not a book smart guy. So when it comes to things like the way that he handles himself, like that episode where he followed Whis around and bull him around, and he's like, oh, is Whis called yet? Is Whis called yet? And things like that. That's Goku, man. He is a kid at heart. He's just a big ass kid. Even though he's hella old, he's like 30s, 40s now at this point. He's a big ass kid at heart. He always has been and always will be. You can't really compare his character in Super to Z because, once again, Z handled him a lot differently. They kind of took him out of his character too, in, in instances as well, in my opinion. In my opinion. And as far as Super goes, they're just trying to play on that a little bit more. And like I said, it kind of happens to everybody. So Goku, and, and, and basically to wrap around the video once again, Goku is a stupid guy. He's, he's dumb. He's, 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 not, he's not literate. He's not very, very smart, even though he showed signs of it in the last episode with predicting and kind of connecting the dots and Whis's theory as far as Black and Zamasu go. He's not a smart guy. He's very stupid, goofy. It is what it is. It's just he does stupid things. He's a grown man that he's a kid in a grown man's body. So... Let me know your thoughts on the way that Goku has been handled and the way that characters are handled in Dragon Ball Super specifically because like I said, it's obvious the show is trying to do that a lot more and they're trying to target a younger audience. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z slash Dragon Ball Super discussion video. That is it for me though, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.